Hey guys! In today's video, AI is going to be making a mod to Stardew Valley. There are a lot of aspects that go into making a mod. The idea, the art, the code, maintaining the scope of the mod and so, so much more. And since ChatGPT very kindly already gave us the idea for our crop, we can safely say that we have the first one checked off. Moon berries. Now, what exactly are moon berries? We can get another one of our criteria out of the way by using a little tool called DALI2. Let's see how the AI interprets our crop name. Right. Well, these are a bit too red, aren't they? Um, they just kind of look like tomatoes. Uh, I like the purple one. They just look like purple tomatoes. Uh, generate variations of this one. Okay, we have our crop, with its name, but we need some seeds that the player can plant to start growing the moonberries, so let's ask Dali. Mm, right, well, well, these all kind of suck. I was thinking more of a seed packet. Let's try asking another AI tool called Crayon. Yeah, okay, this sucks. I suppose we uh, just take one of the Stardew seed packets and put our crop image on top of it. That'll do for now. I can tidy this up later. Right, now it's time to get down to business, AI. The hard bit for most people, of modding, is the code. But the framework we're using, JSON Assets, is relatively simple to grasp. Let's see if ChatGPT can understand how to write a crop.json file for our mod. I mean, it wrote it for the wrong crop and made a lot of this stuff up. Right, we'll, we'll give it another go. Maybe I have to be a little bit more specific. Yeah, no, it's still just waffling. Right, it's okay though. What if I give it the schema for the framework? You know what? That's not half bad. I'll go ahead and put this in the crop folder of our mod, and then ask it for an object.json file for the item itself. Yeah, alright. Some of it is... off, but I can work with that. The last bit of the code we need is a manifest.json, so let's ask ChatGPT once more, and then I can start to polish the mod. And so the polishing begins! Okay, I think that should be everything. Let's go ahead and try out the mod. Alright, I'm loading the game up now. Let's see if we can plant our moonberries. Right, well, it's spring and um, the moonberries only grow in fall and winter. So I can fix that. 
magic. The Pierre's doesn't open until 10. Oopsie! Oopsie! I did a cheating! Bro, where are you going? And... Moonberry seeds! There we go. My five, let's go find them. Righty ho, I've got to clear some of this. Well, we've got to wait a few days for them to grow, so I have to go sleep. Bro, a fairy's helping us. I guess the moonberries really do have magical properties. Damn. And they don't grow in. Wow. Let's, let's have a taste. Oh, they don't regrow really though. That's odd. Oh. Not bad, you know. That is a lot of berries, to be fair. And they all sell for like, what, 50? Not bad. And the, probably the coolest part about this man is they actually grow in winter as well. How cool is that? Yeah, the AI has surpassed my expectations. It's done really well, actually. Well, there are some tasks than others, but... It's made a good mod. Um, this mod will be available to download on Nexus if you guys want to try it out. Um, it's obviously not the best mod in the world, but it's <laughs> it's decent. It's it's darn decent. I think this is a fun experiment, and, uh, and that'll be all for this video. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.